All right, girls and ghouls, time to putz around with Nomad Sculpt again. Actually, this looks much better with this lighting. I do want to make a radish. I want to make a cute radish. But every time I... Every time I open up this guy here I'm super excited about him and I want to put him in the best possible environment he's very bright on the camera let's see if I can turn the Looks a bit more accurate. But it looks good, but I guess I should work on my Do a quick turntable and then I will think I should start on my oh that's right, I made it really slow. So I could take some dramatic video. Alright little raccoon, time to time to move on, but oh this was really fun to make. So let me save this little guy. Okay, new, create a new scene. Oh, and it's still spinning. Okay, we're good, new scene. So now I wanna make a radish And I want it to look like this. All right, it shouldn't be that difficult, but we'll see. We shall see. So first I think I want to use move tool. Let me move this thing up first. Move this thing up a little bit. Okay, so here's the front. I just want to make it fairly, fairly straight. The most simplest, the most simple shapes I kind of get. I sort of mess up sometimes. Mostly because I, th I was like, how, how complicated could this be okay now we're sort of we're sort of looking better I gotta figure out how to get it so it's standing up straight okay what up, Sticky? 
How you living? I am trying to make a radish, but I have a hard enough, wait, maybe I should have used drag. I wonder if I should have used drag. Let me see what that looks like. Sphere. I'll move this one up and back. So what happens if I drag instead of doing what I did? I think that's actually a bit smoother. Still not quite sure what the difference is with drag and move. But drag looks much better, so I'm gonna delete this. Um, you know, I'm 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 doing alright. I've uh you know it's it's been good. It's been good. Sometimes I just, uh, like, it's so easy to, like, kind of get sort of stressed out when you just want to, you just, like, you, you start getting obsessed with producing content. And, like, you know, you get to a certain point and it's, you know, it's it's slow, it's so slow moving. You know what I mean? Like, it's so slow and you just want to get to a level where, like, you know, you're making more money from doing it and you're getting more views, but it's it's so slow going. But, you know, if when that happens, usually I just like, I just have to chill out and go see a movie or something. But at the end of the day, um, Radish, the lives are really cool. It's just sometimes like when I spend so much time making like the tutorials, it doesn't really, sometimes it's just I spend so long on it and I just, it just doesn't feel too worth it. It's fun. The artwork is fun. Everything is fun. But, you know, it's sometimes I just wonder if it's like, you know, it's just, it's just being patient, really. Just being patient and figuring out how to how to do everything and remain having fun. So I want to make. Let's see. Let me look at this little thing again. Oops. Okay, so it's not really twisted that much. Oops. It's not really twisted that much. So. Uh oh, but it's starting to do that thing where it like, I'm stretching out the geometry too much. Eh, I've been, I've been, mm, yeah, I've been I've been fairly consistent, but only because of the lives. The lives make my life so much easier. But it's like I don't know. I just like like I have time now because I'm not I'm not working obviously cuz you know, I'm off for the break and um, and my fiance is, is visiting her, her folks. So I have a lot of time now and I feel like, and sometimes even like, I'll just literally spend the whole day, like getting these little things done that I want to do. I feel like 
I feel like they grow. For me, it's better and it's easier um, for me. Like the little tutorials, like do some do well. It's like hit or miss. But I think with the lives, like I'm just able to put out like 70% more. Because sometimes with the tutorials and stuff, it just, it takes, it takes so long. God, I don't usually have my volume on. I don't know why this is so loud. It's freaking message requests. What? Like, I'm so... Rising brand of keyboard for Procreate. Procreate keyboard. I don't. I don't know how. I don't know how a keyboard would help. I don't. I'm, I don't. I remember that whole debacle about the Procreate keyboard a while back. <laughs> Everyone was like roasting that company, who had to change its name or something like that. Um. So I think I need to. Maybe if I subdivide, then I can, maybe that, maybe then I can drag it without totally like ruining the mess, the mesh, mess. Now it looks like it's still getting crazy. Maybe I need to like remesh it, perhaps. Let's see what that does. Posting stuff. You mean like posting videos? So like posting videos, you, you would say that that's your main thing is posting. Because I see when you, I get your notifications, so I see that you do live a lot, but you, um, clearly it's posting that's really, that you're getting your, uh, but then again, I don't. I mean, honestly, like, I don't, I, I probably need to pay more attention to, like, my analytics and stuff. <laughs> there's just, there's just so much. There's so much these days. There's so much. Interesting. Yeah, I mean that's it's not that long, but it is it is a long time. It's kind of like that threshold where you're you're all in. You know, at, like at that once you kind of keep keep posting and keep it up, you're like all in. But I mean it's it's you know for, for us like it just has to be fun. Like it is fun. Like making stuff is fun. Sometimes I just get, um, I get too overwhelmed because there's just so much I want to do. Like not only make videos, but I'm like, oh, I want to make a, uh, I want to make a, for a second I thought you said post, for, I thought you said singing. I was like, oh damn, you post singing videos? Um, I don't remember what I was saying. The singing caught me off guard. Even though I know you said posting, but at first I thought it was singing. Let me make this smaller. I'm trying to figure out how to make this. I probably could have just did a tube. Tube probably could have worked too. I think that's actually pretty good. Yeah, you know, I sort of think of it as, you know, it's just that I'm obsessed with like, 
I mean, YouTube isn't really passive, but I'm obsessed with, like, passive income and figuring out ways to make quality stuff that just continues to that continues to grow continues to garner money but youtube i mean that's the, i mean literally it's the dream it's the dream job though to be able to like really invest full time i mean that would be quite something and you know it's like it's one of those things i mean it's it's kind of like winning the lottery i guess but not really because you put so much work into it yourself and figure out what you need to do and uh, it's just fun okay I think this looks like a pretty good radish so far my nose is super itchy I don't know why <laughs> It's like automatic, I go live, my nose itches. Royalties, oh logos, oh you do the logo thing. Royalties. What do you charge royalties for? So like logos. I mean, I do make, I do do some, but I don't do them in like, I don't do like serious logos. I actually don't even do, um, I don't do like affinity designer or anything like that. Excuse me. Heavens, that's probably really loud in the microphone. Um, <laughs> I do, uh, yeah, I, I do commissions, but sometimes they get out of hand. Um, yeah, I do, I do some commissions, but it's like, uh, most of the, a lot of the money that I made was from children's books. So that's actually what I prefer to do. Logos are cool and you can actually, you know, obviously you can charge a lot of money for them, but like, I don't really enjoy, I don't really enjoy making logos. So it's sort of like a chore, which is fine, but um, sometimes, like when I'm doing them, then I'm not doing, then I can't do, uh, I can't do uh, between 1 and 5% of future sales. Interesting. It's very interesting. I don't even know what that world is like. Okay, so how can I do the little creases on this? So there is a crease. I wonder if I should just do the creases like this. I feel like this is, I feel like there's probably an easier way to do this. Working on a kid's book too? Yeah, that's what I, that, that's what I love to do. It's just, I can put more of like my... I can put more of, I think I like the other view better. I feel like I can't, I wish I could turn it on its side, but I guess I can't. Orbit, trackball, can I, oh, I guess I can. Trackball, interesting. Um, you know, it's 
sometimes it's just like dealing with like people that don't see companies is one thing that's like a that's like different but dealing with people that aren't that aren't really that don't really understand what goes into it and don't really understand what makes for a good client kind of makes it difficult because like I get a lot of things and you know sometimes it's just it's really hard dealing with like the people and especially because I'm I'm you know I'm I mean I'm not really like a people person I mean I do fine I mean I like people but It's weird, you know, some of the business stuff is very, is very weird. It definitely takes some getting used to. Just let me smooth this out and see what it looks like. want to make sure it's actually it's kind of spreading it out a lot but I guess I could always smooth that out more later on maybe the, mm, let me take another look yeah they're pretty thick creases That's pretty baller. That's definitely pretty baller. But that's good. I feel like you're pretty consistent on YouTube, so it's... You know, it's always hard to just be consistent and doing client work at the same time. But I guess also for me, it's like... I also work on like film and TV so literally some weeks I'm just working like endless hours on set and there's like no time to sleep or anything so that's like the main thing if I could just like if I just had time to just do this then it would be different but eventually like if I start making enough money to where I can oh this is getting a little out of hand now Let me see if I can subdivide this again. If I can remember what the heck I'm doing. Let's see what happens when I remesh it. I just I'm curious. Hmm. I don't know why this crease is getting so weird. Well, that's annoying. This crease is very... I guess it's what I need. Two hundred K views a month. An average pay is two hundred ish a month. Hmm. I don't even know how much I don't even know how many. My last my last my last paycheck was paycheck. My last YouTube thing was two fifty five, I think. So Yeah, I'm in the, I mean I'm in the same boat. I mean, I, 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 um, I mean, you never know. 
I mean, it's the dream, really. One thing that I'm kind of learning, or not learning to do, but like, I need to... I feel like sometimes uh, quantity over quality is better. Especially with my tutorials, like sometimes I feel like I just do way too much. But it's hard because my, I have, since I since I work on set, and like til, uh, film and TV and stuff like that, it's like, it's like I want my production quality to be on point. And sometimes it causes me to kind of do a little too much. And then I get sort of stressed out when I'm trying to achieve certain things. Oh, now we're getting now we're getting weird down here. I do want some texture, so maybe when I smooth this out, it'll be okay. Maybe I need to subdivide it again. I'm gonna subdivide this thing like crazy. Already, I'm already like a million faces. I guess that's not good. I don't think it's very good. So it doesn't really look very radishy. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's it's such a I mean it's such a roller coaster. And like just figuring out like a like marketing is weird. Especially when like you you rely on social media cuz social media is so it's so unreliable. Social media is a super unreliable. Like my my Instagram like was you know my main thing, great, cool, but like now it's like hardly anyone's they they don't really show my work to anyone to not nearly as much people as did before. Uh it's just very very strange. Not very the whole meta thing. The metaverse did not treat my Instagram well. But also I'm just like, it's just hard to keep up with everything. So I'm trying to post on like Reddit and all this other stuff and it's just, it's too much. Why do I feel like this isn't doing anything at all? Take off symmetry. Let me, let me let me do a voxel remesh and see if that does anything. I feel like that's sort of like allows me to usually smooth things up a bit. And that's really what I want to do. I want to I want to clean it up. Maybe I'll make this smaller. So I don't want to totally get rid of the creases. I just want to smooth them up. Yeah, man, that quarantine, everybody was like, yo, it's time. Everyone's like, it's time to make, it's time to work from home, not deal with humans anymore. And I was with that. But I'm very happy. I mean, I, I feel like I did. I feel like I, I really did well. 
for myself, all things considered. Let me make this a little bigger because I don't want them to be super, super Yeah, that's why I kind of want them a little, a little chubby, like a little. I don't want them to look like I just use the the pinch tool to make the creases, even though all I did was use the pinch tool to do the creases. But you gotta like, you know. It was nice to draw earlier and just draw. I haven't, I haven't drawn some, some animals in a while. I don't know why I chose to draw a uh, freaking rhino. Rhinos are so difficult to draw. They have such weird heads. I'm so excited about this radish. I've never been so excited about a radish before in my life. Oh, oh, I must have hit something bad. <laughs> Oh, uh, where was I? Smooth. Yeah, that voxel remesh. Sometimes I just need that in my life. Make sure I get every angle. See, I don't want any. I don't want any artificial looking creases. Okay, and also I did I think I noticed that like the front was a bit flatter even as though the front was smoothed out a bit. Okay. <laughs> what up, Ruby? <laughs> How'd you know? Oh, did I mention it was a radish? I might have mentioned it was a radish. Because if you knew it was a radish, then that's impressive. But yeah, it's this this rascal. Okay, so I think so far. Pretty happy with it. It's still a bit, I feel like the screen is still a bit bright. Um, should I make it, should I do the radish color now? Or should I, should I wait? Um, I gotta remember how to do color. So I think I can just, so that's close. But now we need it to be I think somewhere around here, right? I think that feels right. So it's a little bit lighter, I think. It's a little bit lighter. a little bit lighter, redder, and then a little bit brighter as well. I think that's, I think that's closer. Yeah, I think that looks good. Two thousand twenty was a doozy. It was a doozy. Um, yeah, I, I uh, a lot of my funds went towards my engagement ring in two thousand twenty, so that was also a doozy. Not they get not getting engaged, but you know, 
Rings aren't expensive. Rin rings aren't cheap. <laughs> How's the pup, Rube? Wreaking havoc. Big flopper, big paws everywhere. <clears throat> okay, so, so far so good with this little guy. Um, let me do the leaves. So let's look at the leaves. Shout out to the chubby koala on Instagram. Okay, so I think I can I think I can do Okay, I think I get I think I get the leaves. I think I know what I have to do. Okay. All right. So, we're going to make a sphere. I should be able to do this with one and then um Excuse me. Um and then I should be able to just need a leaf and a root dangler. Oh, like the long, you mean like the the stringy thing? Is that what you mean? Eight weeks old. My dog. Um, what was I? I get, I get sidetracked and then I, my mind completely goes blank. <laughs> What a wild. Mm, okay, so you're about to get validated. So let me move this up. Okay, I'm gonna flatten this puppy. And we'll f do a little bit of this. We'll drag the bottom down. Make it a little bit bigger. There we go. That's what we want to see. I was thinking about going to see um, the Matrix tomorrow, tomorrow morning. An old man. I like to go to like matinee movies, like eleven o'clock. Oh, too late. I'm on the fast track to get married. I can't complain, though, because my wife will be a lawyer, a lawyer, so um, I will be at the supportive husband. Poor thing. Brilliant, though. Her and her sister are br absolutely brilliant. I am a complete dum-dum in comparison. I guess I should plug this in. Yeah, I think I, I think I might see it tomorrow. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, whenever I see anything like this. Wait, why is it so... Oh, because I manually did that, didn't I? Whenever I see anything like this, it's like I know it's like a fake comment. Could be real, actually. Let's see. Could be real. I don't even know where that comment is. Oh, it is real. You can put percentage signs in a YouTube name? I didn't know that. Also, Sticky, do you like... Do you also get a little bit stressed out, like, replying to, like, messages and 
comments and all that stuff because sometimes like the, like it's it's definitely like a full-time job it's definitely a full-time job like for example like i mean not, not that i really have much some people have way more than i do but let me see if i can focus here i know this i know it can focus so I only have 32, but it's like sometimes like I'll just take the time and go through and I, I, I can't, like I have to respond to every single comment on Facebook, on my Facebook group, all that stuff. Like I have to like respond to everything. So that takes a lot of mental. Um, let's see what time it's playing tomorrow. And bring me to a website. I hate that. I have no, I have no uh, desire to see Spider Man. You're watching The Matrix tonight? Oh, Sticky's in deep. Prime is 6.30. Why is it, Why are they all like such late movies? I'm just going to go see a regular digital. Let me see it at a different theater. I'd like to see it in a nice big theater, but I don't want to see it. Oh, I hate when it switches back to the wrong date. I don't know if I want to go at 3.30. Let me go back. Maybe I should just go see what IMAX at 4. I don't know, there's so many humans. There's usually so many humans, though. Yeah, there's so many Spider-Man movies, I can't do it. Everyone loves Spideyverse, and I like cartoons, but, like, I just... I don't know. Like, I, I just never... There's been a couple Marvel things that I like, but it's it's odd. Like, I find... There's just something about how I think that I just don't really like watching cartoons. Like I'll watch some Disney animated films, but I don't really like I don't really enjoy cartoons anymore. So and a lot of the Marvel movies are all like CG, so they're kind of almost like cartoons. I did like Venom. You know, there's some that I do like, but I'm not a huge Marvel fan. Even though I interned at Marvel when I was in college, I in uh, at the the Marvel headquarters in New York City, so that was kind of cool. Oh, thank you. Yeah, the the uh, I'm I'm kind of like I'm kind of liking the iPhone 13. Not gonna lie, not gonna lie. I like the Pixel 6, but I'm kind of I I feel like the camera. I feel like the iPhone might have the edge. I feel like the iPhone probably definitely has the edge um and another thing that i like about the iphone 13 is it's like it's like i can touch the i can touch this easily with my thumb with this sometimes like if i'm just doing something like if something is over here you know it's just like that's a little bit like it's just a, it's like a tad bit smaller but I, I like it i had fun making that video too they, they, those videos never do well for me on my channel, but I, I love making them, so I'm like, whatever. Maybe I should just go digital 
and see it at 11.30. What time am I going to get up, though? I usually ride my scooter. I haven't seen any cartoons in a, in a, in a while. I did watch... What is the last cartoon I watched? Or kind of cartoon. Old school cartoon. I haven't seen an old school cartoon in a while. Yeah, I don't even know. Ah, uh, 9.30, 11.30. Maybe I should just go see it at 11.30 at digital. I don't think I want to wait until like 4 p.m. Because then there'll be like so much, so many other people there. I think I'd rather just see it at 11.30. I can go get a milkshake and some fries and then see it at 11.30. In this small theater. I usually get a I get a milkshake and fries from five guys right across the street. But I love going to the movies. So like yeah, I love going to the movies. All right, back to this, back to this radish. I don't cover my feet. I have this little like mat that I got like years ago. It's like a little heated mat. Because. My room sort of has like a draft. There's all, there's like a constant. No, it's not really like a draft, but it's just my window isn't the most sealed. So sometimes there's like a small draft and it just likes to kiss my feet under my desk. I probably should have got I probably should have got a seat way in the back. I don't really like people being behind me. Um yeah, I probably should have got on the back right. That's okay. Hopefully there won't be that many people there. Usually usually not too many people go at 11.30, so that's why I go. Okay. I got six eyes on me, huh? I wonder how many are from Twitch. I don't see any Twitch comments. Um, but really trying to dabble in that Twitch, that Twitch life. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. Only, I don't think it's skinny enough at the bottom. So let me figure out how I want to do that. Trying to skinny this up a little bit. I actually very thick, so I might want to. This thing is thick. This leaf is thick. Okay, that feels that feels good. Make it a little smaller. And let me do a little more a little bit more of a bend. And actually I think it's a little rounder on top, so let's just scoot this a little bit just so it's a little bit plumper on top. And then we'll use our crease again. Oh my god, I'm I'm starting to do the tutorial voice. I can't help it. Oh, you know, I never liked Hanna Barbera. Like I never you know what's really, really weird is I always had something against like the flint like the really like Flintstones and Scooby Doo. There's something about the quality of the art that just I didn't like, even as a little kid. I don't know what it, what it is about I, I think I did watch the Flintstones. I think the Flintstones was okay. And Yogi Bear was okay. 
But I think it's Scooby-Doo. There was just something about it. It might have even been the colors that they used. The colors. Uh, Nomad Sculpt is not free. I think it's maybe like... I don't remember. It's between $10 and $15, I'm sh I, I believe. It's not very expensive. Um, yeah, I, I, had, I had issues with, with Scooby-Doo. I never really, never really watched it. Couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. So, let me subdivide this. Maybe that was a good idea. Maybe it's not. I'm not sure. If I should have subdivided it. Let's see how the, let's see how the crease is gonna. Oh, I gotta take it off of sy symmetry. And I want this crease to be deep. Yeah, this one was like a deep crease. Let me smooth this out now and just see what it looks like. Oh, it smooths out really smooth. It might be too smooth. So let me crease it again. And let me... Um, hmm. I feel like I need to subdivide it again. Okay, so I need to put these guys in there. Let me take a look and see how, see how it's done here. So they're not really, oh yes, they kind of are touching. Oops, I'm trying to back, I'm trying to double tap on this. <laughs> I was a fan of, I did like Looney Tunes. I liked their, I liked Looney Tunes color scheme. The colors... Even as a young, as a young boy, the colors I was okay with. Oh, see, that's not what I want. It's, that's too thick. Too thick. I don't know if it's just the crease thing that I need to make smaller. I guess that works. I just feel like it's not... I'm trying to dig it in there. Now let me speed this up. I'm over here lollygagging. Talking about cartoons. My favorites were... You know, I, I was always more of a live action kind of kid like I used to I used to like uh, pinwheel I used to like you can't do that on television it was cool I really liked live action stuff tomorrow's promise weird old shows on like I don't even know I don't, was that on Nickelodeon I don't remember what that show was on I don't think it was Nickelodeon. Tiny Tunes. Yeah, that was that was my speed. I could get down with some Tiny Tunes. Muppet Babies. Muppet, Muppet, Muppet. Baby. I can never really sing that high, so I have to always have to whistle it. Same thing when I try to sing Mariah Carey songs. I always have to whistle them. Because I don't have the... I don't have the prowess. The vocal prowess. Ooh. 
Okay, smooth. Oh, a little smooth is a little crazy. I kind of lost it a little bit down there. should subdivide. I feel like this thing is... I guess it's not too bad. There's probably a better way to do... Let's just see what happens if I poke the bull here. Nah, this keeps getting messed up. I don't know what that is. Maybe it's a maybe it's a voxel merge issue. So I'll go to 250 because that's what I do when I don't know what I'm doing. And now let's see what happens. Oh, okay. So that did help. I probably need to. Redo this crease. Yo, this crease is getting crazy. That's so strange. It's probably not the right tool. One is a genius, the other's insane. Courage the cowardly dog. I don't remember that. I don't remember it. Courage. I don't I don't remember it. That doesn't ring any bells. It's kind of funny when like even with like you know your friends and stuff like you talk about certain things and there's just like certain things that just missed miss certain people. Like there's certain things that you just miss and you just never heard of it. It could be like something that was around in the same sort of time but you just miss it. Let me take a little gusto off of smooth and then try to smooth this up a little bit. We'll take a little bit of the punch off because that smooth be really smoothing stuff out sometimes. Okay. Okay, I'm happy with that. I think we're getting somewhere. So now I am going to... You know what? Let's go ahead and color it. Let's see what color the chubby koalas. So it's a nice, it's a nice leafy green. Maybe like there or so. It's a nice leafy green. So let's put this puppy in position. If I could find the radish in space. Okay, I think I need to move it. I think I need to give it a little, give it a little bend, a little bendy poo. Nickelodeon, late '90s cartoon on Nickelodeon it was very popular. Late '90s, that's probably why. Yeah, late '90s, I was kind of out of that. I think I pretty much was out, out of Nickelodeon by then. So I yeah, I never I never got that one. Oh I was like my my Nickelodeon heyday was uh Hey Dude, Salute Your Shorts, Wild and Crazy Kids. 
you can't say that on television. You can't do that. On, you can't say that on television. Uh, uh, there's. I feel like there's another Nickelodeon show. I like Guts. Raiders of the Lost Ark, or like something with of the Lost Tomb, or something like that. Hmm. Double Dare. I went to uh, Disney Disney World, I think Universal Studios, into the Double Dare uh, place. That was kind of fun as a young boy. Oh, I didn't mean to turn it. Okay, so let's bring this down. Down. Oop. Okay, so I think... I think I'm safe to go ahead and... Let me look at the... Let me look at the top. Can't really see where the top is, but they sort of angle... Okay, I get you. I get you. So let's take this one and call it leaf. We'll duplicate that and then we will drag it out here. And we can pivot. Pivot a little more. And where should it should it be in front or behind? So they're both in front in this. So both the side ones are kind of in front. But it's because this one is a little bit. I actually like that nice curve. I, I was trying to, I was going to try to go for that. So now let me just tilt it a little bit more and then we'll just bring it down a little bit. And that way it gives these guys plenty of room to move it up a little bit. And then tilt it a little bit more. And I actually want to skinny up the bottom a little bit. So I think the bottom might actually be a little too fat on this one as well. Just want to skinny up that bottom. That looks good. I think of maybe a little tilt, a little axis that way. And that's not bad. I can probably make both of these a little smaller. Pete and Pete. Oh, man. Pete and Pete. That hit me. That got me. I remember them. Clarissa explains it all. Pete and Pete. Blossom. I don't even think that was Nickelodeon. Um, I will be 41... On January 11th. I never watched any Spongebob. Never watched any Spongebob. Did watch Ren and Stimpy. But no Spongebob. Did watch Rugrats. Did watch The Simpsons. When they came on the scene. Did watch Ninja Turtles. Did watch Transformers. 
I don't even know which one Patrick is. I don't know any of their names. <laughs> okay, so let me let me uh So let's spin that. Move it over here. We'll get this puppy in place. Okay, so this needs to be spun a little bit more. I think. Whoop. Oopsie daisies. She gets so far off. You know, maybe I want to just move you in place. Let's see what that does. Oh no, that's that looked ugly. We're going to move you the old-fashioned way for now. If I could figure out my bearings. Okay, a little bit of a twist here. Let's move it over a little bit. And it's very, it's very wide at the bottom. Very, very wide at the bottom. So let me try to skinny this up. just give it some life here it's not bad I think they're I think they're too big first of all so they're definitely too big and hers don't actually all come out of the same thing. There's a little space. So, firstly, let me make them all smaller, which I knew I was going to have to do in the beginning. So I'll make them all smaller, bring them down. And this one, I just want to move out some. Give them some breathing room. Maybe this one too, we'll move it out a little bit. And they're actually, I think they should be on the top too. So let me go to my turntable. Because right now they are not on the very top. So let me select my leaves. And I'll move them there and I'll move them up. Maybe even a little further up. Okay. Okay, it's looking good so far. Let's do a quick comparison. A nice little study. So the only thing, other thing that I'm seeing is these are a little, the angle is a little much. So let me just undo that a little bit. Bit of a little bit of a twist there, 
this guy too, maybe a little bit more of a twist. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. It actually looks a bit bright now. It's still... Oh well, I think that looks good. Sticky, have a great night. Celebrity Deathmatch, oh my god, I haven't never th thought of that show in so long. Oh my god. Now we're getting into the old MTV days. Okay. Alright, so let's add some eyes. So... Mm, so we want a little bit of an impression. Okay, so apparently now the back is the front. That's fine. We want a little bit of an impression, so maybe inflate. Let's see how this let's see how this works. Let's see how this goes. So we'll try to do one here. And the eyes are fairly wide, so I'll try to do the other one here. And in the art, they're actually fairly deep. Deep crevasses where those eyes are. I feel like this one needs to be a little bit bigger. Well, what did I do? Oh my god, I inflated instead of... What a dum-dum. I forgot to hit subtract. So, that's okay. Okay, so one there. That looks way better. One here. Okay, that looks good. Just try to make sure this is nice and deep so that I can smooth it out easily. Okay, I think that was looking pretty good. So now we can do some really easy stuff and just add the eyes. So I'll go ahead and make these. Uh... Should I do that? No, I'm, I'm just going to do them separately. I'm not going to try to mirror them yet. Let's go ahead and color this in black. They don't they don't really have to be rough. Force paint. A little bit smaller. <laughs> yeah, it's really just it is it is practice. Um, I mean, if, honestly, for me, it's literally just problem solving. That's all I do is just like problem solve. And I try to figure out like, I try to figure out easy ways. What happened to my, 
It's like it doesn't even exist anymore. I guess it does. I feel like the the inflate is not as inflated as it should be. Oop, not on the ball. On this. Yeah, that's more what I wanted. I ball. Yeah, it's, it's it's really just like it's really nice that like I've that I can put the time in. It's like I've always wanted to do 3D and honestly, I'm just so glad that this app kind of came along and like made it possible cuz I don't think I would have I, I wouldn't have been doing any of this kind of stuff if not for Nomad. It's just like such a massive undertaking to like learn a new thing. And the older I get, the more I don't want to do it. Oops, what did I just do? Just deleted something. But... It is fun. The live makes it fun. And also it's just there's such a big community. So if I do run into issues, I can just like, you know, I just check out the Nomad Facebook group. Okay, let me do this thing again where I open this, open his eye hole up. This thing gets really trashed. Oh, does this thing really need to be subdivided again? I feel like... Oh, it actually does look better subdivided. Oh, the holes look really weird, though. Maybe I need to make the... No, I can't make the eye bigger. Hmm. Let's see if I can... Sort of nudge this into place. I don't know why it got so weird. Yeah, it's just hard to put the time in, you know, all these new, I feel like I need to like voxel merge this. See what happens. What is, wait, what is relax? Oh yeah, no, the Facebook groups, um, Facebook groups are pretty good. People post a lot on there. You know what, maybe I can move the eye. Maybe it's, maybe I should move the eye a little bit over. I think that will help. Is this eye still sticking out a bit? No, they're both sticking out about equal. That's pretty good. I 
I mean, this is a bit weird still. And it's weird that it won't let me use my smooth tool. Oh, there we go. I guess it looks all right, even though it looks a little weird. I think it's okay. Okay. Now, I believe it's just a small little line for the mouth, and then these two little pink thingies. I can do that. So for the line, we'll just do um, I could do a tube. The only problem is tubes get kind of weird. I think I can use a voxel mesh. So I'll make a tube path. Let's see if I can do this. Okay. So I'll validate it. And now I just need to like smooth out the edges. So it's not so hard. Simple enough. This is the same, same color as the eyes. So we'll make this much smaller. Let's see just how small it is. It's very small and it's almost right in between the eyes so we'll see how we'll see how that looks Oop. I hate when I do something and I don't know what I did oh I think I just tapped on the the radish That was weird. Lights just going off for no reason. Okay. And I think for the eyeballs, I'm just going to do a simple merge and call those eyes. I'm going to duplicate that and call those pinks. And I'm just going to solo them so I can color them pink. And what is going on? I feel like something was just freaking out. Oh, it could have just been because I, I think there's a little bit of a delay, even for myself. Okay, so we'll make these pinks. We'll take the roughness out. We'll make them nice light gumball pinks. Oh, I 
got to figure out how to, how do I do that? How do I do that? Um, for these guys, I want transform operation. Is it vertex? No. I always go through this issue. I always go through this issue. Object? No. Local? No. There's some things that I want them to operate independently, but I don't remember. I don't remember how to do it. It's so annoying. I feel like there's just like one thing that I have to hit somewhere and it works. But I don't quite remember, I don't remember what, what that is, unfortunately. Oh, it did shut off. Hmm. Middles tab, no. Oh, maybe I need to, maybe I need to do one of these. No, it's not pivot. Clone? No, not clone. Definitely not clone. Snap? I don't know what snap means. Auto pivot. No. Oh, this is annoying. Anyway, that's okay. I'm not going to worry about it. So I'm just going to separate them and I'm going to do each one on its own. So I think we're going to flatten this. Even though it probably doesn't matter that much, but I feel like it needs to be flattened. It's a little bit smaller, I believe. Something like that. Let's see exactly where it is. So it's a little bit higher. These are right next to the eyes. So bring it up. over a little bit, maybe a little bit smaller, and then set a little bit more in the skin. Okay. And you know what? I'm just going to delete this one, and I'll just... Duplicate that one. And I wonder if I can do this. I'm pretty sure I saw a flip object. Not that it really helps me that much, but I just wanted to use it. It looks like a Mento. What up, Jin? <laughs> 10K. Almost. 10K. I'm trying to get them views. Yeah, man, the quality. I had to. I had to do it. 
I had to do it. I had to do it when the time was right, though. I can thank, uh, mostly I can thank Skillshare for my upgrades. Okay, let me make sure that this is... Oh. I want it to be equal, so let me down a little bit. And then over a little bit. I want them to be in the same spot. Part of me wants to edit this a little bit. Make it my own. I feel like them I feel like these are a little I feel like these are a little too glossy. So eyes, tube. I'm going to change this so it's not so glossy. I don't want their eyes to be that glossy. I don't mind black. Yeah, I feel like I like that a little bit better. Pretty cute, I like it. Very happy with it. So I just wanna mess around with some stuff first. So if I was gonna just mess around with it, I would, where, where's my tools? Where are my tools at? I would probably wanna make him look a little happier. This is like a bootleg way of doing this, but. I mean, it's not a great eye, but you know what I'm trying to do. You see what I'm trying to do. God, the eyes are so... Something like that. But I'm going to keep it the way it was. But you know me, I can't help it but to experiment. I love to experiment. Like, what if I was to just do this? I feel like I feel like I made him a little too bright. Ooh, and I actually know a way that I can I know a cheat for the eyes. I don't know if it'll work, but I do know a cheat for the eyes. <clears throat> let's let's try it out. Let's try out this eye cheat. <clears throat> so 
Sorry, that's so loud. My apologies. Oh, I need a mute button. That's what I need. I could probably figure out how to do that, but I did try to figure it out before, but I couldn't. It wouldn't work. Like, I just wish I could just press the space bar and it would mute, but I don't know. This dream does look good. Looks pretty good. Um, oh, okay. So eyes. So I'm going to duplicate this. I'm going to name this I lids. Okay. And now I want to match this color. Okay. Great. Match that color. So I want to go to eyelids, solo them, and I want to color them this color. Good. So now I want to make them a little bit bigger. We can unsolo them. I want to make them a little bit bigger. It would help if I could figure out what I needed to figure out before. I'm still stuck on this thing. So basically, I want to be able to move this, but I want them to move both inwards and outwards. So maybe it's something like planes. Let's try this. I'm literally just going to try everything now because this is so annoying. I'm very annoyed that I have this problem again. It's not local, it's not that. Move origin maybe? No, I don't think it's that. I don't think it's that. No. I try to like put everything back. Once something doesn't work, I try to put it back. This would make my life so much easier if I can just figure it out. Do I have to bake it? No, that doesn't do anything. Hopefully it's unbaked. I don't think it is. That's okay. Okay, so now this snap radius, I don't know what. None of those, I don't think. Okay, so now I see this. I feel like that's what it is, right? There we go. So where was that? That was here. Symmetry and enabled. I feel like that wasn't there before because I would have known. I would have known if it was there before. Okay, so at least I got that figured out. So I can move these out a little bit. And then what I can do Not that. I can... Do I want to trim? Let's try a nice trim first. So I'm going to solo these. So let's try a nice... Okay, that's not what I was going for. Let's try a nice thing like this. We'll bring it over. 
Got to take it off symmetry. Maybe that's it. Okay. I really wanted it to do for both eyes. But not the top and the bottom. So I wanted to... Oh, I get it now. I get it. I get it. I just learned something very useful. Now, I probably won't remember it, but... Okay. Not really what I was looking for, but you get the idea. So let's see what happens if we do a straight. Slice through. And let's see what happens if we So open it up a little bit. If we bring it back a little bit. I feel like these eyes are super glossy again. Is it just me? Are these eyes glossy again? This, this too. Okay, so we have we have that option. We can get rid of the eyelids. Maybe it's just close without. Maybe it's just cuter without them. So now let's add a little bit of lighting. Add a light. So I want to add a light from above. I don't know if this is the light that I want to use. So there's spot, there's that. I feel like it might be point. So I'll lower the lighting of the environment. So we have one from above. And then maybe we'll do one Let me change the color of this. So I add one from
Maybe a nice blue, maybe. Oh, and I also think I want to change the type of light. It's always like a struggle trying to figure out what kind of light is the best. And then maybe like I feel like an ambient, I feel like another just... Like a nice warm What up, Dilla? Anil? Trim, yo, trim is my tool. Trim is so useful. Trim is definitely my tool. One of them. This background is so dark. I mean, I know, like, I know I lowered the, I know I lowered the open the level of the environment, but now it's just stupid dark. Um, maybe I want a color. I feel like he needs like a nice, he or she needs a nice light like lovable color. Maybe. I don't know. Is that too bright? I feel like that fits better. Even like a nice lilac color. Oh, that's super bright on here though. See, I'm starting to learn how to use my equipment better. See, now if I could only figure out how to use, uh, how to get one of those cool, like, backdrop type situations. I think I can get a shadow on the floor if I use a plane on the floor, right? I think that's how it works. So if I add a plane... I put it down, and then I make it bigger. Let me color this. What color do I want this floor to be? Let 
make it a similar color. This guy's a really weird. Uh, oh, that's the lights. That's what that is. Um. I feel like the, the lights are not doing this any favors. Whoop, oh my god. Okay, so this light. High up. This light is just, I don't know what this light is doing. Oh, that's the blue light that I had on the back. Okay, so this is the blue light on the back. I kind of wanted like a shadow, a shadow effect. The floor is doing me any favors. I think I'm just going to get rid of it. But I must say I'm very happy with my little radish. Oh, okay. Thanks for swinging by, Rubes. Appreciate it. Give the dog a nice pat, a nice kiss on the forehead for me. Always a pleasure. Yeah, it's, uh, this one is, it's been a long time. This was a long one. Let me see if I can manually make this darker. Yes, that's a little more accurate. But I appreciate all you guys coming through. I apologize for the purple lighting. The other lighting is just too bright. Like this. You can see me, but it's just too bright. That's not like... That's not like... Oh, my 2.49 a.m.? Oh, my God, I gotta go to bed. I did not realize it was that late. Uh, all right. As always, keep drawing, keep 3D modeling, keep creating, and I will see you all in the next video. Appreciate all you guys. Get some sleep. I'm going. I got. I got to go. I got to get some sleep. I got to go to bed.